first tattoo I got was this little guy right here. It's uh, based on this book that my whole family read. Everyone's got it on their wrist, and it was right before I really had any tattoos. And so I wanted to make sure that it wasn't visible, and so I put it down here. And basically it's about this seagull who wanted to be more than just a seagull. It's Jesus right here. But once again, I didn't have any big tattoos, so I didn't want to put it somewhere and have it visible yet because the world didn't know I was getting tattoos. I was only like 17. Uh, my favorite tattoo is probably my new one. I really like this one. It took about three and a half hours, almost four hours. And the, the worst part about it is I had to be like this for so long and it was just mad uncomfortable. This one uh, means a lot to me. It's my mom's eye. This is my mom's birthday. Seems like I have a lot of stuff to do with my mom. Me and my dad got this one together. This is a G. Uh, it's for my boy. His, uh, his daughter's name's Georgia. She has a brain condition, and so I got that for him just to support him, let him know I got his back. This is uh, owl, signifies wisdom. X means unknown. You know, they might be, know my uh, the shell of me or they might know the artist, but not necessarily me. Uh, this is my ex-girlfriend, so I kind of try to cover her face up with some shading, but people still know. Can't really say I feel lower back tattoos on a male or a female. I think David Beckham has a lower tramp stamp, and that's no good. Oh, this one's really cool. The story behind this one is uh, it's LL, stands for my head's low to lift it up. Just to never keep your head low and always uh, look for the better days. And, yeah. So this was me hanging out on my GQ cover shoot. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, what else? Uh, those are my tattoos, and uh, I'm out of here. Cool. Great.